This is a video on how to update the software of the IronPure touch panel display. This assumes that you have already obtained the latest software from either an IronPure representative or from one of the IronPure product support pages. Okay, now we're at step three where we want to drag the XPanel project folder from my laptop to a USB memory stick. Now right here is the zip folder that we downloaded from the IonPure site and below it is the folder that was created when we extracted that zip file. I'm going to open up that folder and now we see the XPanel project folder that we want to put on the memory stick. I've got another window down here that shows the memory stick and I'm going to drag the XPanel project folder right to that D drive, the memory stick. Okay, so we, now we look at the D drive, the memory stick, and we see that in the root directory it contains the folder XPanel project. Okay, I've already plugged in the USB memory stick and now I'm going to plug in the 24 volt DC power and we're going to start up the touch panel display. We're going to wait for this to completely boot up until it gets to the IonPure overview screen. So we're going past the Ethernet loader uh, and then we'll go back and reload that later on. So here's the IonPure overview screen. Okay, if you look here, you'll see that right now we've got revision 4.02 of the software loaded, but we want to go to revision 4.04. .04. So the first thing we need to do is to bring back that, uh, that software loading page. So we'll click on this corner, and we see a little box open up. And we'll click on this corner and get a box. And then as soon as we click on this corner, it should load that software. Okay, here's the first page, but we don't need that page. So we're going to hit exit. And we wait a second, and that goes away. Now, <clears throat> here's the page where we will hit a button that says to load removable storage to the X panel. The removable storage is the USB memory stick, and the X panel is the touch panel display. So we're going to click on that button, and then that brings up uh, this screen that shows in the white box the actual software that we want to load. So we're going to click on this and highlight it. And now we're going to click on the Project Update button. And it's, you see there are some notes here on the status of the Project Update. This will take about 15 seconds to complete. Okay, now you can see that right here it says All File Update OK. So that means that the software uh, upload process is complete. Now I want to click on this X in the top right corner of this window. And that brings me back to the loader page where I'm going to hit save and quit. That brings up this window. System shutdown process will be started. Do you want to continue? We'll hit OK. That brings up another window, System Shutdown. Now we hit OK again. And now it's rebooting. OK, it went through the rebooting process, came back to the overview page, and now you can see that it says Revision 4.04. So our software installation is complete.